am not broken, I am not confused, and I do not need to be fixed under any circumstance. I just want to be accepted for who I am. I'm an ex-gay, and I'm proud of it. Strong emotions at an assembly committee meeting today about a bill designed to protect minors from being forced into controversial treatment, therapies to change their sexual orientation. The legislation pertains only to licensed professionals, not religious leaders. Some mental health professionals spoke on the effects it has on young people. And after a lot of time, energy, and money spent, many feel worse when the treatment fails, which it fails in most cases, leading to increased depression, increased anxiety, and even suicidal thoughts, feelings, and attempts. And those who experienced the therapy firsthand revealed the repercussions. At 16 years old, I had lost everything. My family and my faith had rejected me, and the damaging messages of conversion therapy, coupled with this rejection, drove me to the brink of suicide. It's a form of abuse being inflicted on children, and it, it's got to stop. It, it's wrong for licensed therapists to try and take a young person and change something immutable about their character and turn them into somebody that somebody else wants them to be. Conservative groups and a group of self-described former homosexuals opposed the bill, told members of the Women and Children Committee that the option to have this therapy is a parental right. I think it's important that the committee understands just who they're going to marginalize should they pass this legislation. Thousands of people have changed their sexual orientation from gay to straight. I'm one of them. This is my family. These are my kids, my wife. I formerly lived a gay life. I have changed. You're going to marginalize my family. Governor Christie has publicly said that he does not believe in conversion therapy. Jacob Rudolph, a high school senior who came out to his peers in January, started an online petition to pass the bill. Governor Christie is already aware of the petition. It already has, I think, 115,000 signatures and counting, so it's still actually increasing even as the hype of it has gone down. But the fact that he is aware of it and the fact that he even made a statement of being in support of the bill and being against anti-gay conversion therapy is absolutely huge. The bill was released from the Assembly Committee today, and the Senate Committee already approved it back in March. So it now awaits a full vote in both houses. The sponsors are hopeful that it will be posted by the end of the month. For NJ Today, I'm Derry Kotzker at the State House.